In this video I'd like to explain a little bit more about equal temperament on a piano. You, you don't have a F sharp uh, and a an, uh, G flat. It, you just have one note which is making um, both sounds for F sharp and G flat. So um, what happens is that you need to tune each note with an equal distance between them. So to explain a little bit more how this happened, especially when tuning a piano, I put down this Excel sheet where um, we'll put down some numbers of frequencies. If we would have, if we would take a concert pitch, it's actually 440 hertz. So that means that this note um, has a frequency of 440 hertz and as um, notes are um, some sort of exponential the frequency of the notes are exponential with the, with the notes so an A of uh, one octave later lower will be 220 hertz and um, yeah, the values in between here can't be just like 220 plus something, you can't add it up just because um, it's exp an exponential, uh, exponential function. So we have uh, just a simple formula that is exponential and we divide it in 12 uh, different steps. So 1 12th, uh, 2 to the power 1 12th times the frequency of the note before, that's giving the frequency of the next note if we would really split it in equal steps. And with Excel it's really easy to copy it, even if you want, until the last note here. So we, with this we've created um, all the frequencies of all the notes. Right. The next thing I would like to explain to you is that this is probably wrong with these overtones um, what the hell? it's it's not overtone and I uh, here it is overtone but it's it is not overtone 2 I guess but okay you'll see what I mean what I mean is that the note 220 hertz that we hear is not just one pure sinus of 220 hertz. There is also um, another frequency that we hear, much lesser, but we s we, it's in there, and um, which is two times the bass frequency. Sorry, two times, and also to an even lesser extent, we have the bass frequency times three and also times four but mm, yeah, yeah also times four like this so yeah indeed the these notes are composed of other frequencies that are uh, on top of the frequency and now i copy it simply over here and we have all the frequencies which make up the notes. So, when you tune a piano, you start tuning the A note. Just give it a little color so we see. Okay, we let's say that we have used a, a diapason or a tuning fork and we have tuned the this note, this string to the frequency 440 and like we just explained in in the same frequencies in the same sound that's produced by this string there are some other overtones which are these theoretically so the next step when tuning the piano is to tune another note and most of the time most of the times um, we would tune the E or yeah it really depends on what method you're using to tune, but um, that's one of the classic ways of tuning a piano. And why do we would why would we tune the E? Well, um, 
we would tune it because if you look at the frequencies here you got this overtone the fifth it's uh, the fourth overtone at least it's four times the the bass frequency and if you compare it with one of the other frequencies you see it here that frequency is almost the same so that's one of the reasons why um, some notes sound better together than other notes just because then you have some of the overtones that are sounding together and it's giving this this nice sound um, so you would say yeah but why don't we tune this then to um, 1320 then it would sound even better and yes and that's indeed what would be better it would be 1320 to tune it exactly to that frequency but then uh, this calculation doesn't go up anymore remember that um, this this frequency was four times this frequency so that means that um, that this would be 1320 divided by 4 but it's not correct because that's, uh, that's generating these other frequencies it's not what it's not the value we had before 330 we had 329 so we need actually to tune the note slightly below it if you re if you really want to respect the the fact that these steps between the notes are to be exactly the same and what's happening when you tune a piano that is that if you really want to tune it correctly you will tune the e note exactly to the three uh, one to, to this frequency sorry and then you will tune another note still um, let's say that you tune this note the b i would say okay this note has to be um, exactly this frequency but i shouldn't have changed this because we still have tuned it this way all right 990 so it means that this note needs to be 990 and not and not whatever it was before 987 okay so this note will be too high actually that divided by 4 will be too high and once this note is tuned then the tuner goes further and tunes and tunes and tunes but if he uh, sorry he is going every time a step further in the circle of the the quarters and uh, fifths fourths and, fi and fifths yeah um, so he tunes uh, every time a note that's a fourth further away from the note or a fifth in order to at the end uh, come back to the the bass note that he had tuned but if he would do that the difference the error will be accumulating every time so we don't want to do this we don't we want to tune it slightly wrong and that's actually everything that we wanted to say in this video